This is without doubt the best attempt of a Halo Battle Royale I have ever seen. All right, the doors are open. The light is green. Let's jump out. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I would want. The team over at the Forge Falcons create something really special that takes full advantage of what Forge and Campaign AI has to offer in Halo Infinite. And that's a lot of elites. Oh my God. Now there have been attempts to make a true Battle Royale experience in Halo since Halo 5, but they always fell a little short. Of course, everyone just wants to start seeing people just start meleeing. This one truly does feel like a Battle Royale experience. Here footsteps. Yes, we can win those. They have points of interest, dynamic closing zones, vehicles, dynamic airdrops, much like you have in BTB, enemy AI, procedurally generated terrain, which helps freshen up the experience every time you jump into play, boss battles, buy stations where you can get more health, speed boosts, and other kind of little perks for your character, as well as a respawn area, AKA a gulag. They also add in these dynamically spawning objectives, which help give you more points within the game. And you can spend those points at those buy stations to give you more of advantage. The recent addition of campaign AI being put into Halo Infinite's Forge, and decided to throw it into here as well. So you get a little PVE and PVP, which I think for a large scale mode like this for Battle Royale, definitely needed for Halo because you could definitely make the maps way too big. I'm in a desperate search for an actual weapon. Much like Master Chief, I need a weapon. I need something, anything. No, he's gonna clean me up, no! I'm guessing this is like the, the Gulag comparison to uh, what Call of Duty has. You can climb on top of this. This kind of started shooting. You just can't wait till someone joins in. And we're back in. <laughs> oh my God, can we land right behind this guy on the roof? I don't think he knows. We found our first ground loot, guys. It's an Evo bandit. Ooh, this is a good one to find. Actually, can you climb on top of this ball thing up here? Let's see. Climb up top of this. Can I get on top of this? Yes. Oh no, 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 he's up here with me. No. Yes! Oh my god, that was way too, way, way, way too close. And we had a little bit of a rough start, but things are getting better. Oh my gosh, they actually have a phantom dropping off AI. And that's a lot of elites. Oh my god. That guy over there, he's gonna end up getting a world of hurt. Oh my gosh, like me. Oh, he flew back in to kick me. No! Oh, he's got the Wrangler! Run! I knew I just needed to get the heck out of there. Retrieve, there's objectives with this thing now? I wonder what that retrieve objective is. You got another one. That was a bold move with that mongoose play. Oh, there's a bit of an action going over here. Oh, is it like a power weapon kind of thing? Oh, a battle rifle? Yeah, dude. Battle rifle is basically a power weapon in itself. So I'm very happy about this. Oh, no. No. Oh, we're out of lives. Well, I think we did all right for our first try. You definitely have more health in this mode, too. You need to put in a good amount of damage on the people to actually get the kill. Because, like, that's definitely more than four shots. Let's take a look at Chago32, what he has to offer for us. Like, the gold spanker as well. Now, if I remember correctly, if you kill AI in this mode, you do get more points. So, it's actually up to who gets more points at the end. Or adds more points to what you can buy. Like, right there, this person actually bought a power-up as well. I believe this one's, like, more health or sh shield recharge or something like that. I should definitely should have done that. Circle's starting to get a bit small now. I think he just needs to kind of just play his angles and just make sure he doesn't get hit in the back. No one's died yet, I don't think. Oh! Got him with the rockets, two Spartans left. This is a, the Looper wins, this wins. With the rockets, the headshots. Chago, our guy gets the win. My God, this angle right now. So now I'm sure a big question is asking like, why is this Battle Royale any different than the others? We've seen other people make Battle Royales within Halo before we saw it, even back in Halo 5's Forge. But why? this one in particular well one thing we showed earlier it does take advantage of the campaign ai additions to this game which is i think a fantastic addition there are, and then there are buy stations in here as well from earning points by just getting kills and things like that oh we got a campaign variant soccer rifle this is gonna be good oh it's fat it fires so much faster it makes it so much easier i do like the additional health with this mode because with regular health it just wouldn't really feel Right, you get slayed out way too quickly. But you also have procedural generation that they mentioned with the terrain, so it's not gonna be the exact same thing every single time. And so far from what we've played, that the pacing on this does feel better than other battle royales I've seen before. Most of the times I see people make a battle royale within Halo's Forge mode, and it's just like buried open wasteland with like no cover. As soon as someone starts shooting, you're just dead because there's no cover. This one feels very different though. Oh no, I ran to the grenade. No! I didn't think my dude would just plant a nade like that. And I can't win my gulag here. Here, footsteps. 
Yes, we can win those. Remember, we got some weapon pass. Oh my god, they're gonna give me a Hydra. Okay, it's something, it's something rather than nothing. Oh, we got a shotgun. Okay, I'll take that. I think Battle Royale is also something that people just want to try out in Halo because so many of the mechanics within Halo Infinite alone work for Battle Royale. Oh my god, I'm gonna snipe that. Oh no, oh no. Oh, we gotta dive. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh god. Like being able to use power ups like that when you want to, you know, that's a huge change to the Halo's gameplay, but that fits perfectly for Battle Royale. Oh, we got with a sword over here. Yeah, it was easy work. Having a little bit more health on your character as well is really nice because you actually have a chance to outplay people. That's something that's always been a huge thing within Halo. And the weapon sandbox would work out rather well for a battle royale. Each weapon serves a role, has a purpose, advantages, disadvantages. I mean, we already see like large scale modes in Halo. Oh my God, I'm getting shot again. I was one shot away from victory. And Halo being a shooter with a long legacy of just awesomeness and being one of the greatest shooters ever made. And a lot of great shooters out there making battle royales like Call of Duty, Apex, and Fortnite. People are just curious, does that battle royale formula work? And from my opinion, I've always said yes. I've always wanted to see a Halo battle royale. I think that's something that would play out really well with this franchise. Oh, we're in a little bit of a gunfight here, but the guy's got the upper advantage here. Can we check, out, check him out? Oh, he's got the hammer. He's going after him. He's got the high ground, Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most awkward fight. Get him! I've always said this. Like, what are the things that would bring people back to Halo rather than just having regular updates? Oh my god, ODST is going off right now with this hammer. It's one, campaign DLC, which I don't think we're getting anytime soon. And two, would be a battle royale. Oh, ODST just closed the gap right here. He's got the hammer. Oh, this is it. It's time to shine! Smash! Oh, he knocked him all the way onto the circle. That's one thing with the hammer. They added in more physics with this update. They didn't mention that in the patch notes, but that's a real thing. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. You got it. My God, this angle again. Now, there are a lot of people out there in the community who don't want to see a battle royale come to Halo, but I don't really think it's because of it being a battle royale. I think it's mainly of just 343 following trends, right? They've tried doing this in the past and it hasn't really turned out very well for them. There we go. Get off me. We saw this back in Halo 4, right? With like trying to do the whole Call of Duty thing with perks, kill streaks, all that kind of stuff. Didn't work out. Oh, this guy's got ready to hurt from this last gunfight. This is how you play Battle Royales, buddy. There we go. I mean, third party is kind of the name of the game when it comes to Battle Royales. Yeah, Halo 4 was a real hit to the gut when it came to the popularity of this franchise. And then 343 brought out Halo 5, which kind of followed the trend of advanced movement and all that kind of stuff, which... I mean, call it what you will. Some people love the advanced movement. Some people hate it. I liked it, actually. Not because of it being advanced movement. Really, just because I thought it was a fun mode. People sleep on this disruptor, man. It's really... <gasps> oh, that pinpoint needler. If you guys have been playing any prison matches, you'll know all about the pinpoint needler. This thing is nasty. Oh, you're not having me... Not with that, buddy. Oh, you didn't know I can cut through there, did you, buddy? We're getting third party here, though. I saw the gun sights coming in. Oh, slide out. I mean, I liked Halo 5 a lot when it came to the gameplay of it for the multiplayer side of things. It definitely did feel very different though. And if it didn't seem to be kind of like that gap between classic Halo and more modern style Halo, which I think they really nailed it. I love the multiplayer for Halo Infinite. So I'd say that's probably the biggest fear for a lot of people who don't want to see a battle royale in Halo. But I think Halo Infinite's gameplay would really work for it. So think about these AI fights, man. You get start getting to gauge with them, people hear you, and then they just run right after you. No, no, I'm getting shot in the back. Oh no! Well, oh, dude, there's a lot of people in here. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. I guess we're we're back in it. You know. Oh god, I was not expecting multiple people in the gulags. I only had one of you on. That was a four-player gulag. That was insane. I just want to hit that buy station that's there, man. I gotta put a hunter right next to it. Two hunters. God damn. But imagine what the popularity of Halo would be if there was a battle royale, right? Everyone would try it. I'm gonna throw us after this. PC is be something good. Stalker rifle. Yes. Oh gosh. Oh, this guy doesn't know I have a rocket launcher. Ah! Oh, he has a hammer though. No, <laughs> we're running away. No, this is definitely the best battle royale experience I've played within Halo. Like this is actually incredible. 